good evening everyone this is rishali in our previous session we discussed about sql operators with some practical demonstrations with examples i have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box now in this session we will discuss about the next important point that is sql clauses here we will discuss where order by group by and having clause with practical demonstrations with example so let's start the session in this channel you got a complete point wise and easy explanation with practical demonstrations of following subjects please like and share this videos with your friends and subscribe the channel so you will get a notification regarding my new upcoming videos now the first point is what exactly sql clauses we know that sql is a structured query language and this language mostly widely used in programming languages for implementing relational database we will perform different manipulations operations on data by using ddl and dml commands which manage and organize a data in particular format so for that purpose we need clauses in sql there are mainly four clauses where group by having an order by so see here this is a execution order of sql server query means first you need to use from by selecting a particular table where you will perform all the operation after that where clause after that group by after that having then select and then order by so this is a particular sequence in this sequence you need to apply these clauses as per your project requirement so let's see the first clause is where clause where clause generally used to filter the record or where clause can be use a particular condition and this sql language fulfill the particular specified condition and fetch the data so let's see how to use where clause here i am using mysql workbench for implementing purpose so here i have already created a table the table name is customers in this customers table there was five columns like customer id name age address and country and there are total five records have stored like 101 to 105 customer id so this is your given table now you need to perform clauses on this particular table your first clause is where clause so let's see how to use where clause so you need to perform operation on the customer table so direct star from customers okay after that apply where keyword so this is a by default and built in keyword that is where now after where keyword you need to perform the condition so our condition is we need to fetch the data only the customer who live in india okay so where our column name is country and country is india right so this is our condition so just execute this query again see here it fetch the data who customer live in india so this is called as where condition in this way you can give multiple conditions here like customer id or you can fetch the data as per the age in this way right next now the next clause is order by clause order by clause generally used to result set either in ascending order or descending order okay you can fetch the data as per the particular order so let's see how to use a particular order by clause so the next clause is order by right now we need to perform the operation on customer table so select star from customers right now we need to use a keyword order by okay and we need to fetch the data order by as per the country okay so just mention here your column name country so just execute this query uh wait a minute see here so they order by the country as per in ascending order so order by clause by default take a ascending order right see here now if you want to perform the operation in descending order so how to use see here so after the country you just mention desc this keyword okay now execute the query see here they order the particular data as per the country as per the descending order right so this is called as order by clause now the next one is group by clause so group by clause generally use to 
group the identical data or similar data into the group. So group by clause generally used with aggregate function where and order by clause. So let's see how to use the group by clause. So the next clause is group by. Right. So in group by clause, suppose as per our table, uh, wait a minute. Right. See, this is our given table, right? Now you need to group a by a particular customers as per their country. Okay. And you need to form the count of that country means from India, how many customer from UK, how many customer in this way, you need to group the particular data. Okay. So how to use see here select star sorry select count you need to perform count okay how many so we use we will use here aggregate function count on the column customer id right on the column customer id and that is country okay we will group the uh, people by the country from table name customers and we will group by customers as per their country. Right? We need to count customer and their country column. And we will group by the customer as per the country. Okay? So just execute this query. See here. From India, uh, two customers. From UK, two customers. And from Germany, one customers. Right? So this is called as group by clause. Or you can also, you can also uh, arrange those data or arrange those count in particular order. So just mention here order by count. Uh, our table name is customer ID, right? And we will arrange the data as in ascending order. Okay. So just execute this query again. See here one two. So they arrange a particular data in ascending order. So this is called as group by clause, right? Now the next one is having clause. So having clause is just similar as a where clause, but where clause we can't use with aggregate function. That's why we use having clause. Having clause also mention a particular specified condition and they always used with the group by clause. So let's see how it can be work. So uh, just mention here, you need to group same data okay see here uh, this is a having clause right so uh, you need to count customer id as per their country okay means how many customers from country specific country you need to group by those customers with country now just mention here having okay and having you need to count count customer ID greater than equal to one suppose okay means it display the particular group where customer ID greater than equal to one means count is greater than equal to one okay it does not display Germany it display only India and UK because their count is greater than equal to one see here means more than one customers from which country so at that time use having clause so this is all about clauses so just practice this. Keep learning. Thank you.